In the first step, I like to create a new permission group. And to create a new permission group, I'm a designer. I select the permission section. Here we are. And in the permission section, I just select permission groups. And I can see permission groups. If I select one of these permission groups, I get a couple of menu items. And I select here the menu item for edit permission groups. And I get my permission editor as we have seen it before. This time, I don't want to create a user. I want to create a permission group. And therefore, I step to the menu permission groups and say new. And here we are. First step to do, I can name my new permission group. I name it test permission group because it is just for a test. I can add a description if I like to or some remarks. I can as well add some other stuff. But typically, a name for the permission group is more than enough. The only thing I have to think about it is the flag only use for role-based authentication. If that is set, I can only use it with role-based. This is not what I like to do because the next thing I want to do is just to assign it to a system user. With that, I let the flag unchecked because I like to assign the group to a system user and the only thing I have to insert and now I can commit the complete new group to the database. Next step to do is I like to assign this group to my new created test user. Therefore, I step to my system users, here they are. I select my test user, here it is. And I go to the editor again. And as you can see, no group is assigned. This is exactly what I expect. Yeah, the reason for is we created only the user without assigning any groups. And now I will assign my new test permission group. Here we are. And I store that again into the database. And now my test user just has one test group assigned. What I expect, remembering what I did in the past, that this system user will not have any user dialogue in the manager, especially because there is a system user with a single test permission group assigned and this permission group itself do not have any entitlements assigned. And because of that, nothing shall happen. So I switch to the manager. Here we are. I create a new database connect. I sign in with a test user. I get remembered that there is a password to enter. And here we are. As you can see, nothing to see. The reason is I do not have any permissions. The one or the other might think that it is now easy just to get, for example, access to person data. And he will say, OK, let's select the permission group itself and to set some permissions to access the person table. Let's just do that. Therefore, I close the system users, switch to the permission groups. Here we are. I select my new created permission group, which is the CCC test permission group. Here it is. And this time I hit the edit permission button for that specific group. Here we are. Here are all my tables and I can assign table permissions and column permissions to the group. Let's talk about that as well a little bit later. At this time, I only want to assign some permissions. Therefore, I search for the person table. Here it is. And I assign permissions. First for the table, I click write and new. And then I want to have viewing permissions, edit permissions for that record, insert and delete. We will discuss it again later. And I like to see the same as well for, for example, the central account property and maybe first name and last name. Here's the first and now let's find the last. After we set the permissions on table and columns, we commit again to the database. And now we expect that if I sign in in the manager next time, I will see person objects. Here is my new connection. It's a test user with a password. As you can see, nothing happened. And this is what typically annoys people. There is something set. There was permissions granted. And unfortunately, nothing will happen in the front end. And the reason for that is, table and, and column permissions are unfortunately not enough to see everything because these are not the only entitlements could be assigned to permission group. So the approach to create a new permission group and then to start to assign entitlements to that permission group, it's one of the most expensive approaches you can choose, especially because you have to assign every entitlement this is necessary for a specific object type to this permission. And unfortunately, if we think about person objects, there are not only person permissions necessary, there are as well permissions in, for columns and tables necessary, which are columns connected to this specific person object.
This at the end shows me that this is not a scenario I should follow. That means uh, just to set on an empty group some permissions will not really help me. To solve that scenario a little bit more accurate, what I will do is I will have a look into these permission group sets and therefore I start the permission editor. And in the permission editor, and we are talking about employee permissions, I can scroll down a little bit and what you can see there is for employee permissions, you see here three different of these groups. There is a person basic information, there's a person edit rights and VI person user interface and display rights. It looks like that this is the combination I have to get to get some permissions. Let me show you that. For that, I just jump back to the system user I select my test system user before, I start my rights editor like before, I unselect the test permission group I selected before, I cannot unselect UBM base rights because everybody have to have them, and I just check here the permission basic information and person edit rights and so on. Uh, if I check the first one, I get all the other permissions in addition and the reason for that is the inheritance because these are nested groups and the nested group says the group that is at the end will inherit the permissions to the next one and that will inherit the permission to the first one. With that, all the permissions from the others I get here in the first one. I commit to the database again and I jump to my manager. I sign in again. I have to add my password like ever. And as you can easily see, what I can see here is I get here the employees. I got in addition the risk index function and the reason for that is that risk is as well part of the employees. But I can see here now employee object. So if I step into that, I do see employee objects. If I just click one of them, I should see as well an overview page. Here it is. So this is to get the permission on employees. What you can as well see, by the way, you don't see here in the overview screen, for example, the assigned active directory accounts. And the reason is I do not have any permissions to get them displayed. And that is the reason why they are not here. On the other hand side, I see, for example, a display values for the manager, which is another person object, or for the primary department, which is a display from another column. So that means the person object itself seems to have other permissions to other tables as well, as long as they are linked to. The only problem here is, if I step back, that I cannot modify the permissions. So for example, if I only want to display a few of the person permissions, then I have now to edit one of these permissions here. But this is not possible because these are standard permissions. So these standard permissions are in the system as a template on the one hand side and as a way just easily to create fastly dialogues for specific purpose. For example, this is for people who will edit employees. Maybe I want in addition to have Active Directory, then I have to search for the Active Directory part and have to select the Active Directory part. I can as well make a difference between user interface permissions and edit rights and basic information. If I click the basic information, I always get all the permissions because all the other are nested. But if I, for example, only click the edit rights, I will not get the basic permissions. And if I click here the basic user interface and display permissions, then I will only get viewing permissions on person objects. I have to unselect the first one, of course, because with the first one I get as well all. But if that is unselected, for example, like that, and this is only selected, I will only get display permissions, but I cannot change everything. Let's have a proof. I just save my permissions and then I can step to my manager and I can sign in again with my test user. I should see person again. Here we are. Brilliant. And if I just select one of these and step into the master data page, this time everything should be grayed out here. And the reason for is I have only display uh, permissions now. I don't have any edit permissions and uh, that is what I can do here more or less with the permissions already in the system.